Good morning and welcome to Sunai Lembing. I'll tell you more about this town a little bit later, but right now it's 6 a.m. and we're about to do a sunrise hike up to a viewpoint somewhere on the mountain there that you can't see because it's pitch black. But that's where we're heading up now. So let's do it. So here we go, it's what's it telling us? Be careful of the monkeys and the mosquitoes. Oh no, that's not good. Got my um, best jungle attire on again. Brilliant. Let's go. Here we go, you can go in front with torch. Yeah, so it's pitch black, you can see now we've just got concrete steps. So it's all right, it's not like a jungle hack, it's just got some nice steps, nice staircase. I think there's like, a thousand steps maybe, we'll see. What is this? Is that an ant? You see that is the biggest thing I've seen. Oh, it's going for the camera, it's, it's aggressive. Oh, that is, that is scary. Oh God, get that thing away from us. Well, I'll tell you what, it's tiring this. But instantly you can see through my torture in the fog like we've just we've all, we just broke through the clouds straight away and we're just in like thick fog. So it should be really nice at the top, I guess. We've just hit a mini viewpoint on the way up, and I tell you what, it's bloody well nice. We've got a proper sea of clouds, a proper thick blanket of clouds in the valley, and you can see if it's not too dark, it's just a pure jungle landscape. It's absolutely stunning. This is well nice, it's so peaceful, there's just no noise either apart from the birds. There's bats flying everywhere and then... Oh mate, the craziest bird I've ever seen, the morning myrtle, the whining dog. What is that bird? It's beautiful, there's just one of them up there just making the craziest calls I've ever heard. So let's nail it to the top. Alright we've just hit the top, took just over half an hour and I can tell the views are going to be well nice. We'll just walk down here and try and find a bit of a viewing point through the bushes, through the trees. <sighs> Sweating my head off. Oh wow so there's loads of viewpoints, there's loads of bits they've cleared the foliage or whatever so you can see through look at that here we go here's the views look at this sunrise behind the clouds over there and then yeah just thick jungle seas of clouds down in the valleys got a few little mountains sticking up wow so many birds so many beautiful birds here as well this time in the morning at this. Wow. It's like proper, proper jungle. And then on the other side, you've also got a stunning view. I don't know if you can see it here actually, but look at this. It's well, just like um, untouched jungle. It's so green. I was trying to squeeze down here to see what's going on. In my flip flops. Oh, terrible idea. I can't be bothered. I'll find you a different view of this side. But yeah, it's well nice, isn't it? Really peaceful up here as well. It is a week there. Just two other Chinese ladies have come up with us and they said on a weekend, it's just absolutely ram with people up here. So come on a week there and then you just get it to yourself. So I think there's also a viewpoint on the other side of the ridge, somewhere over there. But yeah, it's beautiful, no matter where you stood. Proper little nice jungle walk to start the day. Steps all the way up, couldn't be any easier. It's just hot. And here we go, from this side you've got the proper sea of clouds view. Look at this, well nice. Look at this for a view. 
Wow, that's beautiful. I need to find out what birds they are. Never heard anything like it. They're like singing. They're like I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> When's it coming? Okay, so now we're back down, we can actually read this sign and it's just saying, be careful, there is malaria present. It's telling us what to do, put bug spray on. Nope. <laughs> Wear long sleeve and long pants. Nope. And then what's this one? No camping. What's that? Anyway, yeah. Uh, There we go, we made it. Quite our work that. We're gonna head for some food now. Absolutely starving. Right, so we're gonna hit this place up, the Chinese food court, hawker center, whatever you wanna call it. It's super busy. So we're gonna try and find some maybe like foods unique to Sunai Lembing. And what's this lady selling? Oh. Bao, bao. They're like bao, bao buns. Oh. Is this from Sunai Lembing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're getting. We're getting a little. We'll get everything. <laughs> this is tasty. Sit up. Tasty. Yeah, this is Leech's rule. The first thing she sees, if the lady's nice, she gets it. So we'll have a look around. It looks like. There must be some good spots in it. Look at it, it's like proper old school food court. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it is a proper hive of activity in here. It's, it's just full and it's not a weekend, so every single um, stall is not open, but we've chosen this one. And we're gonna get two of the like signature dishes. And here she is like proper cooking away. I'm not gonna go too close to that because for obvious reasons, I'm gonna get oil in my eyes, but how cool is this? So I have no idea what we're getting, but we're excited to eat it. And yeah, you can see it's um, a busy spot. It's a proper old school market. I uh, look, they're just the, the old Chinese signs pretty much. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to quickly show you this. Our lady is making the noodles completely fresh. She's literally just rolled them out flat and then put them through this noodle machine here. Which is just incredible, isn't it? I can't believe it. I just saw her doing it. I had to run over. That is incredible. So it is like as fresh as it gets. You don't see that in many places, do you? She's making them fresh. That's well good. I just ran over there. I just missed it, but yeah. I think our lady is making... I think our lady is making the fresh noodles again. It's just super cool to see. So she's got the door fresh and she's rolling it out. And then it will go through here in a minute, so we'll just wait a minute. What's happening? A lot of shops haven't opened, so they're really busy today. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, she's doing it now. So she rolls it. And then she puts it through the, um, the top. I mean, that is just so cool, isn't it? Well cool. One of our dishes has come and this looks so good. So in English, the translation of this is fragrant spicy tofu. So we've got some fried tofu in there and then we have got a load of different stuff on the top. So we've got cucumber, jicama, this like spicy sauce. We've got peanuts on there and I don't know what else, but yeah, it looks good. And this is eight ringgit. 
So let's dig in. Let's get some leash. I'm excited. It looks good, doesn't it? The tofu, honestly, they're frying it. For everything's so fresh here. I'm really impressed. Like they're just. You can see again, she's ripping them noodles and she's just frying like sheets of noodles. Enough waffling, let's try this tofu. I'm gonna get a piece oh, of everything oh. I'm gonna try and not drop it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you've got a better piece than me. <laughs> What's it like? Good. Delicious. Really delicious. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been really into tofu like that. Good tofu. Yeah. Let's have a do. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's fried perfectly. It's got like a nice soft inside, but outside's got that, you know, that slightly crispy shell to it. And the sauce is really light. It's not spicy. But it is tasty. You can see there the, the tofu. It's got like a proper crispy shell to it. And then, yeah, obviously, we've got all the cucumber in there and the peanuts for a texture. Something different, something we don't really eat much of. Mm. It's got a really nice skin on that tofu, yeah. Mm. Interesting little dish, that. And I'll tell you what, it's so cool, isn't it? It just feels like we're in China somewhere in a small town. In this food court. It's like a different world. I love it. Mm -hmm. I think it was delicious. Like, I didn't used to be a fan of it. I tried it in like Latin America, but I really like it now. It's such a good vegetable. <laughs> it's got like the perfect skin on. Well, it changes your perception of tofu when you eat dishes like this. Completely changes it. And all tofu in the UK and stuff, and like all these vegan bullshit restaurants, it's just like the most tasteless, pointless thing ever. But in this part of the world, they do it right. The last piece, let's give it a big. Swill a big dip in all this like leftover sauce. I've dropped it, and then yeah. Super like that. Really light, really easy to eat. Quite a good breakfast. And now our second dish has arrived. This is the signature braised yam mi. So like a braised yam noodle. It looks really good and there's I don't know what this is. It's, he said it's like a potato, so I'm gonna. We'll find out when we eat it. We've got some of these like crispy wontons, vegetables, carrots, the noodles in like a sauce. I tell you what, it looks really good. So we're gonna split this on, onto our plates and then we'll try it. And we also got tea, which is actually really nice. So good. Just be like a little bit of sugar. Right, let's try this dish then. It looks really good and it smells really good. So we've got the yam in there. Which I'm gonna try first. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Like a starch potato tastes really good in there. These noodles look delicious with all the carrot in there, a little bit of veg. Mm. Really good. A little bit salty. But the, the yam is the tastiest thing in this dish. It's well good. Mm. Doing like a thick sauce. We've also got this crispy wonton, which we'll crunch through now. Mm. That's really good. I don't know what's in there. Pork. A little bit of pork. Not a bad dish at all, that's quite good. 
We also got these huge sesame seed balls. Now one is peanut, one is red bean. I mean, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? To try it. They're massive and they were, they were fresh when we bought them. So yeah. That is well good. Honestly, that is so good. Such a strong sesame taste. But the filling, the filling is well good. It's really sweet. Mmm. That's delicious. Very sticky though, that. Sticks to your mouth. Then number two. Peanut. It's like full of sweet, crushed peanut, sugar, all the good stuff. So this is where the fried goods are coming from. Everything is done super fresh. And those little sesame balls were one ring at each. It's a cracking price, they were pretty big. So we're gonna have a shower and then we'll take you around. Some guy limbing town and we'll have a good look around. Right, so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of where we're staying because it's so nice. This place is called the Country View Inn, Sun Guy Lembing, and it's just this massive wooden house. I'll just quickly show you the room. The room's really nice, but it's the common areas that make it such a nice place. See so yeah, it's an absolute mess, but we've essentially we've got our bed, we've got our work on. Um, what more do we honestly need? Nothing. So, got these well nice places to sit. So we've got this area here, telly. Again, we'll be watching that. Look at this, what we've got though. The bloody lunatic gun. With the, uh, oh, the, um, whatever you call it, cleaning rubbish gun. Bathroom, kitchen area. And then we're, the best location ever. This is the uh, food court. It's just across the road. So yeah, this is like the centre of town, like the proper hive of activity. And yeah, look at the views we've got from here as well. It's well nice. But there's just so many nice places to sit like this, isn't there? Fridge. Free drinking water, we've got Domino's. You name it. And this is the piece de resistance. This terrace area. We've got all the fans. Look, there's so many nice places to sit and it's, you can see over the whole town, you can see the food court and you can see all the big trees and everything. You can wave to everyone down there in the food court, let's give everyone a wave. There we go, we've got a wave back. But the um, most important thing is, see this here? Karaoke machine, look. There we go. Karaoke machine. So we might have to get on that tonight. Yeah, but it's well cool, isn't it? Proper nice spot. 67 ringgit a night, which is like 12 pounds. Can't go wrong. So yeah, we've got all old newspaper articles on the wall, Chinese newspaper articles. Pictures of all the nice places to see in the area. Yeah. We can't go wrong. Got a picture of when it flooded in 2001. Look at that, the market's underwater. And yeah, that'll be enough waffling. We'll see you when we head out into town and we'll take a look around, yeah. Excited, it looks so beautiful here. Yeah. Oh, what wonderful teeth you have. We've got the puppies of the day. Hello. Oh, you've got funny ears, haven't you? Look, it's hot. Everyone's got their um, bikes with the umbrellas on the top to get away from that sun. Look at that. Right, so here we are. Sunai, Sungai Lembing. Now, I'll just tell you about this town. It was founded in the 1900s as a huge tin mining area by the British. And back in the day, it was one of the deepest and largest tin mines. I think it was the deepest and largest in the world, which is impressive, isn't it? 
and it hasn't changed since it seems. Everything is still super old and it's such a cool place. I'm gonna throw a picture in. Hello. I'm gonna throw a picture in of these streets that we've just seen in our hotel, which was in, I think it was in like, I think it was about 100 years ago and the street looks the same as it does now. Apart from these trees have obviously got bigger over the last 100 years. I mean, that is, that is huge, that tree now, isn't it? But this is it, it's just like a um, two or three street, tiny little town. And it's well nice. So we're gonna go and explore. Leash is bloody loving those puppies in the food court. So we've got food court center of town, and this is the main street. I mean, this is, this is it. But it's stunning, honestly. The surroundings are really nice. So we're gonna go for a walk out of the city. Oh, we've just got old businesses everywhere. Yeah, I'll show you now. So yeah, back in the day, this town was booming. They had everything, schools, shops, cinemas, housing. It was all going on hospital. But when the tin mining seized operations, obviously most people left. And now it's just this quaint little town. But they're trying to like revitalize it, you know, like they've like turned it into more of a tourism town. I mean, it's quiet. But I think at the weekends, a lot of tourists visit and it's absolutely stunning. So look at all these old shop fronts, like the old classic Chinese restaurants, Chinese coffee shops. Look at these buildings, like you'll see as we walk around, they've just not changed for the past hundred years. Maybe they've had a fresh lick of paint, but look at it. It's so picturesque. These puppies are going to follow us around all day. So we've got this nice tree line bit in the middle with these giant trees, look at these bad boys, it's absolutely massive. We're just surrounded by jungle. Oh, he's got a glove, you naughty bugger. <laughs> yeah, but just, just take a look for yourself. Somewhere you definitely should visit. This is a proper small town, I love small towns like this. Proper fresh air as well. Tropical vibe. Like a tropical rainforest climate, yeah? So we're going to head out the city, we'll head down the river and just see if we can um, take a look at the nature and then we'll come back here in the afternoon. But you can see it's just like look at all the corrugated tin walls, these wooden buildings. It really is unique. It's a proper slice of history isn't it? There's not many towns like this around, is there? There's such a history to them. Look, what's this, the old petrol pump or is it a still functioning petrol pump? I'm unsure on this one. A lot of dust in there. That doesn't work, does it? But yeah, oh no, here's the petrol. Oh mate, with just the um, big, like, five litre jugs. But look how nice it is. And it's so relaxed. Yeah, so this is what they, um, they're doing here, yeah. Some guy lending petrol station, yeah. What's he got here? Yeah, it's just got petrol. This is the petrol station. Ah, yeah. Hello, my friend. Just looking. Just looking at all mate, putting petrol in. Yeah, they're just pouring it in. <laughs> Hello, how are you? How are you? Video, video. video. <laughs> Have a nice day. Look at that. What's that? That's like a garage, motor workshop. But yeah, that is also the petrol station. Oh, mate, it's just fill your car up with his five litre bottle of petrol. So as soon as you get to the end of this street, which is essentially the end of town, these are the views you met with. Again, we've got the massive trees. And look how nice it is, it's so green. It's like you're in the jungle, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it's beautiful. It's crazy. It's so rural. That's where we walked this morning, to the very, very top of that mountain. What's this again? Someone told us what this was this morning. We were speaking to a few people in the food court. They were telling us about like the history back when the British were here. Obviously, it's just like a big sports pitch, footy pitch. Alright, so we'll head down here and when we find something interesting, we'll show you. Look at all the trees. They're absolutely massive. Massive. I want to know when they were planted. Look at the size of them. It's just, as soon as you get out of that town, there's no noise here, there's just silent. And look at the houses. They're well nice. I'm, I'm telling you, it's like coming here, it's like being back in the 
1950s, especially in town, we'll show you after. So the museum's up there, but we're going to head off into the countryside. Alright then, we're proper out of town now, we've come across a like hanging suspension bridge. Leisha's chatting to her granny here. Yeah. I'll tell you what, look at this though. So it's coming now on a bike. This looks like... This is one of the most beautiful places ever, like... Look at this. Listen to this as well, not just look at this. I mean... Oh, I'll tell you what, it's bouncy as well. Right, I'm going to give you a um, proper look on here. This is well nice. This is absolutely stunning. Like, look at the jungle view. Listen <laughs> to how loud the birds are. The birds are so loud. It's well nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Some guy Lembing. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at the river going down here. No traffic, no people, no noise, just like pure nature. But it is shaky, look at this, like, oh my word. It's got a right old wonk to it. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, no, that, that's horrible. That feels like it's going to tip. How nice is it? It's proper wonky, look, with everyone walking on it. It's like, it's going to fall over. Good morning. Good morning, morning. <laughs> We're bouncing all over the show. Oh my word. It's like, I feel like he's going to do a flip, do a 180. Hello, good morning. I don't know what everyone's doing. Everyone's been over there to see something. I don't know what. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> This is ridiculous, and then look at all these like houses at the side of the river. It's just stunning, isn't it? Wow, it's wonky. Oh, good morning. I can't put my camera away on this bridge. It's one of the most beautiful places ever. I don't know, I just feel so happy. I feel like I'm in the bloody jungles of Colombia again or something. I don't know, this is my happy place. This is it. This has got to be one of the most beautiful places in Malaysia, what? I don't know, it's just so untouched as well, like, there's, there's nothing here. Cien percento puro natura. How about this one? <laughs> See, I can't go in. Right, the second we've crossed over this bridge, the strongest smell of coconut I've ever smelt has smashed me in the face so we're going to investigate but again we've got the proper old shop fronts look look how nice it is so I don't know what's going on here they're selling some stuff is it soybean tofu let's have a look we'll see See the dog there? Uh, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> they saw you feeding the dogs. Oh, yeah, feeding the dogs. Where was I feeding the dogs? Today in the market. Oh yeah, in the market, in the market. The little puppy. Yeah, the market. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I remember. What, what I remember have they got? Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, the puppies were following you. Yeah, they were following yeah. you, yeah. Yes, I remember. So, <laughs> so kilafa is is that coconut? Kelapa. Coconut biscuit, okay, so biscuit kelapa. Coconut biscuit, that's what we can smell. It smells so good. So I just patted the jellies I made with the mineral water, said Jack. Really? Spring water? Yeah. Wow. We'll investigate. Right, so this little shop has it all going on. Over here, these ladies are making noodles fresh by hand. So here she's got the dough that they're like churning through this machine and they're flattening it out. I'm just going to try and not get in everyone's way. And then over here we've got like a big, big cooking process going on. We've got the, the noodles cooking in there, huge, huge. Pan. And then yeah, look at them all here. This is ridiculous, I've never seen anything like it. I don't want to get too involved, the ladies are busy, but they've just come fresh out. 
Yeah, I don't want to annoy it. Well, don't want to annoy everyone, but it's serious. That and look, she's got the door here. Oh, I love seeing stuff like this. It's well cool. So in here we got these jellies as well, which are made with the mineral water from here. So they've got a few different flavors. We'll grab a few of these, and I think it's that tofu. It's absolutely mental in there. There's so many people in, and everyone's buying like everything in the shop. You can also get those noodles. You can order noodle dishes. I mean, it's not going to get much fresher than that, is it? They're cooked in house right there. But for now, we've just got these. What are they like jellies? Yeah, like jelly puddings. They're like jelly puddings, and these are made with mineral water. So they're mixed with mineral water, which is super interesting. These should be so refreshing. We've got honeydew melon, butterfly pea, we believe, and mango. And there's a few chia seeds on the top. They look nice, don't they? Especially this one. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I don't want to eat that one. Let's try that one first, the butterfly pea. I feel like this one's going to be the mildest flavour, maybe. Mildest, but the one that looks the nicest. So there we go, you can see it's like, it's like a really loose, oh wow, that looks, look at that, that's a massive mouthful. Can you see the colours on that though? It's like translucent underneath and then, let's try and get this in. Oh my God, I want to cry. Oh my God. <sighs> Sorry everyone, I'll go for round two. And I've not learnt from my mistakes, I've got another massive piece. Yeah, not, there's only a little bit of flavour in there, but it does taste extremely refreshing, especially on a hot day. I think the topic tastes a bit coconut. Mmm. It's a tiny bit of coconut. Mmm, sure. Look. It's delicious. It tastes like the cleanest jelly I've ever eaten. Like, no. It doesn't taste like pure sugar is what I'm trying to say. So what's in the mango one? This, so this one's not like a two-tier one. This is just the same all the way through. This one feels a bit thicker as well. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna try and not throw this one all over the floor. Look at that. Mmm. That one has a lot more flavor. That one you can actually taste the mango. I mean, butterfly pea isn't really a flavor, is it? It's more just like a coloring usually. It's got the mango on, isn't it? Put your in the bin. Yeah, put your jelly in the bin. <laughs> Let's try this last one, the um, honeydew. honeydew melon. Oh, oh, nearly dropped it again. There we go. This one should be interesting as well. Cheers. Oh, oh that's no, all right. Cheers, sorry, sorry. Cheers. You didn't cheers me. <laughs> cheers. Mmm, best one. That and the mango. You can really taste the, the flavour in that one, the actual honeydew. Mmm. Just a nice little treat on a bloody boiling up there. Right, so everybody, and I mean everybody, is getting the tofu, so we have to try it as well, don't we? Again, it's two ringgit. It's really loose. Look at that. It's not bad at all. It is like, well obviously it is soy milk, isn't it? A little bit sweet. It's not bad that at all. Not bad, it's really refreshing, really, really light. Actually, dare I say it, delicious. Here we are again, we just could not resist getting a bowl of these noodles because you're not going to get a chance to eat something like that every day or your soul. These are noodles that are, they are literally Making fresh in there, they look so good and we've got some little pork meatballs in there. Let's try and get one of them and give that a quick go. We'll dip that into this sauce we've got as well. Mm. They're really meaty, those meatballs, I'll tell you that. Mm. Yeah, interesting, it almost says a little bit fishy as well. Let's just try the noodles, because that's what we're here for. So they're in like this dark, Sauce. Can you see that? Underneath the noodles, so we'll just get a quick try on these. No, they are really good. 
I mean, the noodles, but they are delicious, they're very filling. I mean, I'm not a noodle connoisseur. I think to tell you the difference, you'd have to give me these and then a plate next to me of like cheap rubbish noodles and then I can tell you the difference. But they are delicious and the sauce is nice as well. Mm. You know what, that's super simple but I think that's the point, they're trying to show off how good the noodles are. You know, the dish doesn't need anything else. Just got this little, little red dip. Now I will tell you what, after eating most of this bowl of noodles, I can say these are very high quality. They do actually taste really good. They taste buttery. Um, yeah, like proper buttery, creamy. They are really good, actually. Now, I will be honest. So good, it just something as simple as noodles sometimes, just proper hits the spot. Comfort food. So that family's just given us this to try. It's like a super long rice cracker that everyone's buying. Oh Shall we share one? Oh, hey, shall we will share, we will share, yeah. don't worry, thank don't worry. Thank you so much. much. So what is this like? Some sort of egg, egg fried thing. I'm gonna just like snap it over here. Oh go on, I'll just crunch mm. it. Mm. Let's try, let's try. Is it delicious? Yes! Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. like that. Good. A little tiny little bit sweet. Mmm. Mm. They sell all kinds of snacks in here. <laughs> it never ends. Alicia just picked up what? this drink that could be tamarind. There could be tamarind in there, I'm unsure, but... Whatever it is, it's well delicious, well refreshing. I just don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm unsure. I'm not going to pretend that I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just keep walking down this side of the river and see what's going on. Just take a look at all this. Architectures walk down these nice little streets. Honestly, it's a proper joy to walk around here, and everyone's well nice. Everyone in that restaurant are well nice, even the people coming in. Everyone's giving us bloody snacks to try. Everyone has wanted a chat. Proper nice people. So we're just walking down by the river, this little village. And again, look how peaceful it is. Listen to how peaceful it is. I shut my fat gob. Come here. Oh my god. This is crazy. wow, this is yeah, one of the most beautiful cats I've ever seen. Come on, Don't come on, come on. Don't make me have to break into these people's house. Come here, come here. It's got blue eyes. Look at this one, this one's absolutely stunning. Look at that with the the flowers growing like into the house. Oh, cool. Oh, we've got a car. And then look at this as well. This is cool. The yellow bike against that wall. It's just proper. It's proper picturesque here, isn't it? Just walking through the village. Couldn't think of anything better to do. Just a few bikes knocking around. A few old chaps out on their errands. Look at some of these, like, it's absolutely. You don't see stuff like this. You know, you won't find a house like that in many places in the world. And I think this is our mate coming past again, we've seen about 100 times today. Hello, my friend. Yep, there he is. I don't know how many times we're gonna see him in one day, how many times we're gonna pass him. I love a small town, you just keep seeing the same people. He's all over the show, isn't he? We're yeah, sitting in loads. But they're just like cruising around, getting the papers, sitting in the coffee shop. What a life. Getting a bit of petrol. They just they've got nothing. They've got no stress to they? Yeah, look at this row of houses. I mean, how nice is this? How cool is this? 
proper old school, I love it. You could not get bored wandering around here. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna cross back over again and now we've got another like hanging swinging bridge. This one's like multicolored, they've painted it and there's a bike coming over now. We'll have to avoid this walk here. Then we've got Armit over there. Just he, hanging out his window, isn't he? Hello. Okay, hello. Hey. <laughs> Try and not get run over. But yeah. I'm gonna say it again, it's beautiful here, isn't it? That man's house is absolutely stunning. Look at him just hanging out there. Just pure bliss. Pure bliss. Not got a care in the world, that bloke. Just living his life. Let's go over this one, eh? Wow. Bloody hell. Oh, another bike. Two more bikes. Can we even get bloody through on here with these bikes? Whoa! <laughs> We've got a family coming now as well. <laughs> Way. Hello. Hello. That's a course one that. That's like nearly really handlebar to the spot. Right yeah, another bloody bouncy bridge. This one's dare I say even bouncier. Yeah. But yeah, one last look at these views before we head back to town. But if you do come to Sung Ai Lem Bing, it's a bike rental shop. We walk straight past this, it's absolutely clueless. I've just spotted it. All the bikes are there, that'd be well nice. You could go to where we've just been, you could go even further, you could go right into the countryside. Typical. Still had a beautiful time, but would be good to get on the bikes. All right then, we're just gonna take another quick walk around town and show you what this place is like. Now the sun's gone down and it's a bit cooler. Leash is finding the dogs again. I just want to show you this here, we've got the classic red post box. There she is. Jobs are good and look at this dog here, it's really cute but it's proper scared. With the, the floppy ears. Oh yeah, there you go. Alright, we'll just go for a little walk. Just to show you some of the buildings and stuff. It'd be rude not to, it's beautiful. Like I said, unlike anywhere else. That's the hill we went up today, you can see it clearly now. You can see we're just like in a little valley in the jungle. What's that? Sungai Lemming mining restaurant. But look at this place, it's just like another world. It's like going back in time, I feel like, yeah, like I said, Back in the 50s in the mining days. Like, look at the buildings, look at all the um, like corrugated walls, the corrugated sheets, everything's made from them. And then like, let's not get run over by my mate behind me on bike. Hello. Lovely, right? every, every single person will give you a proper smile and a massive wave. Like, yeah, like every single person you walk past, every single person who goes past on a bike will give you a massive smile, you give them a wave, give them a hello. Everyone's bloody well nice. Look at this little back alley, what? Like, look at this. It's like, it's like proper going back in time. I don't even know where I feel like I am anymore. I don't know. I love it though. well good it's just like because obviously there's not many young people here anymore obviously everyone's older but there's young people obviously they all want to go to the city don't they and all that rubbish but here it's beautiful oh there's a cat scared me that cat we've just come to check out the chinese temple here in sungai lembing and 
I'll tell you what, it's well nice. It's right on the river and the views are just phenomenal. You can see the clouds are coming down into the valley, I mean... I just don't need to say much for that fella outside his house over there. What a beautiful place to live. So quiet, so peaceful, all the birds are here. Look at this. Wow, look at the size of some of these palm trees as well. Massive. So serene, so peaceful, I mean, what a location for a temple. The majority of people in this town are actually Chinese, by the way. The majority. And then we were speaking to the locals and they said there's a few, a few Thai and also like a, let me say a sizable portion of Malay people. Just quickly show you around. You can see everyone's tied the um, ribbons into the bush there. Look at this. And then we've got all the animals along the wall. But yeah, how nice is this? Beautiful. Honestly, so nice. Yeah, you can see here, I'm guessing this is the same thing they do in Thailand, where we tie them on here and then eventually they fall off or whatever, or they leave them on. For good fortune and the likes. And here's where everyone places the incense when they're praying, making the wishes and whatnot. Smell strong. I love it here in the evening, you've just got people just like zipping around on bikes riding past. I don't know, again, it feels like a different world. It's just so relaxed. Now look at this building. We've got a piece from 1965. It's so cool. With the old Chinese writing on. It's well cool. And again, these massive trees are lining the streets. Look at them. And just everything's wooden. Honestly, looks exactly like it did 100 years ago. Exactly like that photo we saw this morning. Look at it. Yi Yim Mota. Wow, look at this. Now I think We'll probably call it there now. What a day we've had. This video is probably so long, but there's, there's just no other way I can do it because it's it's just one of them places I've just got to film everything. Because everything's just so interesting and like, yeah, I love it. I love it here. It's well nice. Thanks for watching. Um, I think you should definitely, if you can, you should definitely head up here to some guy Lembing and just 100% make sure to visit this little town here in East Coast Malaysia. It's at the end of like a dead end road. These are always the best type of places. If someone's at the end of a dead end road, that's how you know it's gonna be good because people just can't be really going, so you know it's gonna be good. There we go, Friday night here in Sungai Lembing. The Chinese karaoke house. Hello, my friend. What joke? How are you? Are you all right? I'm here. Karaoke. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, we have just eaten. We just eaten, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Bye. That's well funny. What is it? The restaurant Yitai Two. I love the karaoke. This guy's leather. Oh my god. And he's off. <laughs> oh, you just nearly crashed into the middle. Friday night, let's get on our karaoke. We'll have a karaoke battle across the street. Them against those.